Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tara with Simply Made Eats and today we are doing some Mediterranean meal prep. We're gonna be making some rice bowls with ground chicken meatballs. These are so yummy. We're also gonna go do some tzatziki sauce. We've got some Greek salad that we're gonna make. Lots of different options for the week. You'll be all set up in really healthy foods. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna get started with the brown rice from our for our rice bowls. I'm just gonna rinse some brown rice off. And I'm gonna add this into my rice cooker. My favorite thing ever. I just did one and a half cups of rice and I'm gonna do three cups of water. get this started. Super easy, I love my rice cooker. All right, so that's gonna go and we're gonna get started on our meatballs. Okay, so for our meatballs, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 375. And I know this sounds kind of weird, but I'm gonna take a slice of sandwich bread, just like this, and I'm just gonna rip it up into little pieces just like that and I'm gonna pour in the milk and I know this sounds a little bit weird probably to some people but this is like my trick for really getting um, a really nice juicy meatball I think sometimes they can get dried out especially when you use like ground chicken or turkey the beef ones are a little easier because they have more fat content but this is a really great way to get a really nice juicy moist I know the word moist is gross, but it's a good way to get a really juicy meatball. Okay, now we're gonna add our vegetables into our food processor. We really want the, the veggies to be really nice and fine in the meatballs. So we're gonna add in some onion, and you can find the full recipe in the description. All the measurements. I've also got some red pepper, just a red bell pepper. A couple cloves of garlic that I just spilled everywhere. And then I have some fresh mint and fresh parsley. We're gonna give this a quick pulse. I usually just take a spoon and work down the sides. And then I'll pulse it again until it gets really fine. Okay, so to finish off our meatballs, we've got one egg that we're just gonna whisk up, add that into a large bowl. Then we're gonna add in our ground chicken. You can also do ground turkey here. Either one is totally fine. Then we're gonna add in our bread mixture. This is a little bit of milk in there. We're gonna just add the whole thing in. Next, we're gonna add in those veggies. And if you don't have a food processor at home, that's totally fine. Just make sure you chop everything up really, really fine. It smells so good. It almost smells like pico de gallo. It's so yummy. Okay, and then we're gonna add in just a little bit of coriander, some salt and pepper, and some red pepper flakes. Just a little bit for a little bit of heat. And we're gonna take our hands, you can wear gloves if you want. I don't really care that much. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start making these into meatballs. And your batter is gonna be pretty wet. Um, we're just gonna try and work it in as much as we can. We don't wanna over mix it here. That's why I really like using my hands instead of like a mixer. It'll keep it nice and juicy this way. This looks perfect. Okay, now we're just gonna roll these into medium-sized meatballs. Just like that, and it's okay if they get a little bit flat on the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna bake these for about 20 minutes until the internal temperature is 165 degrees. Okay, so next we're gonna be making our tzatziki sauce. This is one of my favorite recipes. I absolutely love tzatziki sauce. We're gonna use our food processor again, and same thing, if you don't have a food processor, just make sure you chop everything really, really fine for this one. 
we are gonna skip the bowl entirely in this one and just go right into the food processor. For the cucumber, I just like to peel it just like this. And this is like one of those long English cucumbers, which are kind of better for this recipe because there's less seeds in them. is just chop off just around the seeds. And you can see there's definitely way less seeds in these than there are in regular cucumbers. And then we'll just give this a rough chop because it's gonna go in the food processor anyways. If you don't have one, just make sure you chop it up really, really fine. Okay, so into our food processor, we're gonna go ahead and add in our cucumber. We've got a couple just yogurt containers. This is the Faya, and I can I use 0% milk fat sometimes, and sometimes I use 2%. It's really just whatever your preference is. I had one of each, so that's what I'm using. Next, we've got a clove of garlic. We're gonna squeeze in the juice from a half of a lemon. We have a full teaspoon of dill and some salt and pepper. Okay, now we're just gonna turn our food processor on low and add in a couple tablespoons of olive oil as it goes. Okay, and then once it goes for a little bit, I like to just wipe the sides down like that, get it all incorporated. And then I'm gonna turn this bad boy on high. Or you can pulse it. Okay, so now this is looking nice and creamy. And it's gonna go so perfect with our bowls. We are gonna just stick it in the fridge and save it for later. I always have to taste this before I put it away. Mm. So good. It's like, it feels like it's bad for you because it tastes so good. Nice and garlicky, a little bit of lemon, dill, so yummy. Mm. Okay, so our meatballs are all finished and so is our rice. We're gonna go ahead and make those Mediterranean rice bowls. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when I'm getting my bowls ready is I like to make little containers of hummus and the tzatziki sauce that we made. Um, this way it just stays separate and it doesn't get all soggy or anything like that. And I really like both of those sauces in my bowls. And I always pack a little piece of pita bread with mine too, so just for the tzatziki sauce for just the pita bread is amazing. So we're gonna do five of each of those. You don't have to do a bunch, but you'd be surprised how much, like it just makes your lunch a little bit interesting and really a lot more flavorful. Okay, we've got that. And then we're gonna do some hummus. This is just store-bought hummus. You can use whatever kind you want. You can even make it homemade if you want, but I'm just saving on time a little bit, so we're gonna add in. I just do like a scoop of each. That way, like if you're watching your weight or anything like that, you can um, just not feel bad about it. It's healthy. That's what I love about Mediterranean food, is it's all so good for you. All right, and then we're just gonna put some lids on these. Okay, so we're gonna fill up five of these, then we have one for each day, or five meals worth. We're gonna go in with some rice first. Then we're gonna add two of our chicken meatballs to each of these. Just a couple pita slices, one or two, into each of these. And you can always like pack these in Ziploc separate if you don't want them mixed in. And then we're gonna add in 
a tzatziki sauce or a hummus or both. I'm running out of room in these containers, so I'm just gonna do one in each of them. Surprise me. I think I like tzatziki sauce more than I like um, hummus. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of cheese into one side. This is just feta. that's it this looks so good it's like the perfect lunch okay that's it we are all done with these mediterranean bowls we've got five meals planned so easy wasn't it now we're gonna get started with our greek salad because we need some veggies in the mix too okay so now we're gonna start with our homemade greek salad dressing we're gonna start with a clove of garlic make sure this is minced up we're gonna add in a third cup of olive oil a quarter cup of red wine vinegar a little bit of Dijon mustard, about a teaspoon. We're gonna juice in a half of a lemon. Okay, and we've got a teaspoon of oregano. Some red pepper flakes. A little salt and some black pepper. I really like making this in a mason jar with a lid on if you have one. I could not find a lid for anything this morning. So I'm just gonna whisk mine. You can definitely shake it up too if you have a cover. That's my favorite way to do it, just to put the, the cap on the jar and the lid and just mix it up. But we're gonna whisk this and then this is gonna go in the fridge. Okay, so we're just gonna finish up with our salad. We all need some greens, so we gotta do it. Plus it's delicious, so don't even worry about it. All right, so I'm using a bowl like this. That way I can make it in here, put it, the lid on, and store it in the fridge. And I'm just starting with some kale. I've already rinsed all of this off, and I like to pull all the stems out. I pulled the big ones off already, but there is like some smaller ones. And when I'm putting it in my bowl, I'm just like breaking it apart like this to, to make it into like bite-sized bites bite-sized pieces. And for those of you, if you are really against kale, you can definitely use romaine lettuce for this or like, um, just like the romaine hearts. I like those because they stay really crunchy. Um, but if you have only had kale a couple times and you just didn't like it, try my way because I massage the kale and it makes it way more tender. Like kale by itself just doesn't taste that great. You really have to put some work into it. Um, and I'm gonna show you how right now. Okay, so I like to take my kale like this and just add a couple tablespoons, really like a tablespoon of um, olive oil into it. And then I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon juice, about a teaspoon. And we're gonna season it with just a little bit of salt, quarter teaspoon of salt. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake it up a little bit and get my hands in there and just start like really working it. And you want to make sure there's enough olive oil on there to where it's like, that's really what's helping it get nice and tender. The lemon is a good acid. It helps break it down. Um, but it really changes like the texture and the taste of the kale. One of my favorite ways to eat kale is like this. And then I just add in some red pepper flakes and some Parmesan cheese and it is so delicious. So I'll just do this for a minute or so. And it really like changes the entire texture of it. This looks so good. All right, let's add the rest of our ingredients. Okay, so into our kale, we're really just adding in a few things. I've got some Kalamata olives. And I'm adding in some red onion that's really thinly sliced. And I'm gonna toss in some cucumbers. And that is really it. We've got, sometimes I put red peppers in it, but I was out of them today. And then I like to just toss this up like this. When I'm ready to serve it, I like to serve it with that Greek dressing that we use. I'll toss that in. And then I like to top it with some feta cheese. It is so yummy. This goes right with pita bread or with those bowls that we made. And it's super healthy. If you are storing everything separate in the fridge, that will keep it the freshest. And as far as if you want to take it to work or anything like that, 
use those little cups and store your dressing separate so your salad stays nice and fresh and you can always pack your feta separate as well. So that's it, we're all done with this easy Mediterranean meal prep. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else specific that you guys want me to make. I love sharing easy recipes for you to make your life a little bit easier. Thanks so much and please consider subscribing so we can keep cooking together. See you next time, bye.